Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I want to draw your attention to some resources pertaining to the story and lore of the game that you may not be aware of, especially if you're a newer player. Now, Final Fantasy XIV is entering its 11th year of service if we include 1.0, the disaster that it was, and it just celebrated its 8th anniversary of its remake with A Realm Reborn. Now with that comes the in-game event, The Rising, which is a bit of nostalgia and a bit of player appreciation, and I highly recommend that you go and do the quest and read it all, and don't just rush to the end for the rewards. However, with The Rising every year has also come a tradition in the form of the Tales From series, which is a bunch of, a bunch of short stories that are released on the Lodestone that give us a little bit more background on certain characters that we've met over the course of our experiences. Now, for this year, we have the Tales from the Twilight. The first story has released, and I'm not going to read it to you. I'm going to let you read it on your own. But the Burden of Duty, and then we can see the other four that are going to be releasing once every week until September 24th. Now, while I definitely recommend you check these out every week, especially if you're someone who's caught up to Shadowbringers, has met most of the characters that you'll see in here, these aren't the only tales from, like I said, we've been getting these every year. We had Tales from the Calamity, which goes way, way back to 2014. We had the Tales from the Dragon Song War, which has eight short stories from Heavensward, Tales from the Storm with eight short stories from Stormblood, and Tales from the Shadows with eight short stories from Shadowbringers. Now, I've included links to all of these in the description, and I'm going to recommend that you take a look. Now, one of them, the Tales from the Calamity, is not on the Lodestone and doesn't have a special page, it seems, anymore, but all the rest of them do. So I've linked a resource that has the recaps of Tales from the Calamity available, so you can still read it online, but you're going to be reading it on the Gamer Escape Wiki. That is the first source that I saw that was recommended for it. And as you play through the expansions, if you're a newer player, I highly recommend you, you read through some of these stories as you actually go through the different expansions. Because again, there's a whole lot of backstory and lore, and these are all available for free, free online. There is one additional bit of tales from, I guess, lore that you can also get, but it's gonna cost you. There's actually a book called The Chronicles of Light, and with it came four short stories that were exclusive to that book. Now, I managed to find this one online, and again, I'm not reading it to you, so you can appreciate the doge on the right as we just look at the kind of very small text on the screen right here. Uh, and this one is regarding a, a specific character, but there's three other ones, and I was, wasn't able to find them online. But The Chronicles from the Light book has even more uh, side stories on some of the characters that are involved there. It'll have a list of the characters that are involved in another thing that you can try to read. I think it was only made available in Europe and Japan. I didn't see it on the North American store, but I saw it on the European store. So maybe a bit of an issue for the North American players to get, unless there's a digital version that I'm not aware of as well. But these are just all great ways of getting to know the characters that you're being introduced to for the first time before we come to this big finale, this big conclusion where we may not see a lot of these characters as frequently, if at all, after we get past the 6.0 benchmark. So I wanted to share that with you. There's also the Encyclopedia Eorzea. Those can be a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. There's Volume 1 and Volume 2, and fingers crossed we'll get a Novrontian one at some point. But either way, those are definitely worth a pickup if you like reading through them for story and lore on pretty much everything that's available in Final Fantasy XIV. But with that, I just wanted to share those resources with you because as a newer player, you might not be aware of all this additional story and lore that is available for you online. So I'll include links to what I can find in the description of the video below, and hopefully you enjoy reading through those as you play through the expansions. With that, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care.